Hello Church, we are reading Romans 16 today for our daily Bava reading. And there are two things that stood out to me uh, doing the reading this morning. The first is the fact that Paul gives this long list of difficult to pronounce names in the first 16 verses. And this is just, once again, a list of all the different other people who are in the church, who are uh, put their faith and hope and trust in Christ alone, that they're living in o obedience to what Paul and the other apostles and what Jesus have taught. And so he's kind of commending them and even putting their name down here for, uh, for people for the last 2,000 years to be reading their names and seeing how they were faithful, how they were obedient uh, to, to the cause of Christ and seeking to work for the kingdom of God. And so even if we don't know a lot else about these people, we know that they were doing what God calls us to do. And so I think once again, it's an encouragement that we don't just see the, the, the biggest figures, the biggest names, the, the head honchos as it be in the church kind of being described, but the Bible also gives us these little snippets of the fact that the church is made up of many members, many parts. And so each of these person had to do what God has called them, God has gifted them to do. And so my encouragement uh, for us today is, once again, you may not see yourself as being that important to the church, but you are. You've been saved by grace through faith. God has called and equipped you for a specific uh, purpose and task that only you can do. And so uh, be encouraged be diligent to be um, living those out. And this leads to my second kind of point. There's a few times in this chapter where Paul uses the word obedience. Um, and I think it's once again, it's interesting after he's kind of talked about um, how people can be saved in the first 11 chapters and then the last several in chapters 12 through 15, Paul kind of gives now, now how do you live this out? How do we live in light of the fact that we've been changed by, by our faith in Christ? And so he started the book even talking about their obedience, their faith, and now he's ending with the same thing. And so my hope, my encouragement for each and every one of us as we continue to read the Bible, we're always seeking ways to be obedient to the word of God. And so that's my encouragement for you today as you wrap up the book of Romans. We start the book of Hebrews tomorrow. So enjoy and uh, see you guys tomorrow.